Hello. We all know how big Lake Tahoe is. What amazes me is that it is the very smallest things in the lake that are causing it to lose its clarity. Particles. Tiny pieces of non-living things like dust, soil, the stuff that comes out of your car's exhaust pipe, are the most important cause of clarity loss. Most of these particles are so small that we can barely see them with a microscope. To count the particles, we need to use special instruments that bounce laser beams off these tiny particles. Another way to learn about the particles that go into Lake Tahoe is to study what went into it in the past. All the particles that have ever landed on Lake Tahoe, they eventually fall to the bottom of the lake and become part of the sediments. The very oldest particles are at the very bottom of the sediment layer. The newest ones, those that came in recently, are closer to the top. In that way, the sediment layers are a history of Lake Tahoe. Researchers use special hollow tubes which are driven into soft bottom sediments to collect sediment cores. Hey, Alan, what is that? This is a sediment core from the bottom of Lake Tahoe that we just took out here in the lake. And bring it up and we'll put it down. Okay. Down. This is the type of mud that you see in the bottom of the lake. It accumulates a little bit at a time, year by year, and it layers up just like rings on a tree. We're concerned about the state of the lake now and the effects of houses and urbanization on the lake. But by looking at the sediments, we can reconstruct what happened in the past. And we know that the lake recovered from past disturbances, like the logging. So since the lake recovered then, we believe that it can recover now if we do the right things. That's really encouraging, Alan. Our latest computer models show the same thing. Water quality could improve within 20 to 30 years if we reduce less than half of the particles and nutrients currently entering the lake. Did you know that a single inch of sediment represents around 25 years of accumulation? Each foot represents 300 years. So, if I was a sediment core, the soles of my feet would be 1,800 years old. Time to change my socks, I guess. Please continue to look around the center and check out all the other displays. Remember to ask questions. That's what scientists do.